to the museum, but fair warning, I came here on a Monday morning and assumed most tourists would be gone and it would be pretty quiet, especially considering every other museum this week I've just walked into. But for some reason, the British Museum has a massive line. You can see it, it goes all the way back and then out the gate and down the street. Um, the line in total, I want to say, took maybe like 25 minutes, so it wasn't awful. You basically have to queue up in order to go into that little tent for security. If you have like a timed like entry ticket, you get to go in like a second line once you go through the gate that goes a tiny bit faster, but honestly, I didn't have a ticket and I got in, I don't know, maybe five minutes after the people with tickets that I was like originally standing with got in. So it doesn't make a huge difference. Um, if you don't have a bag with you, you can kind of like skip through a bit, like once you get into the tent or if you have like a small purse like I have, like they kind of let me go in like an expedited line, which really helped. So when you're coming to visit, don't bring a lot of stuff with you. It'll definitely save you at least a couple of minutes. Now let's go check out the museum. Everybody comes here looking for the Rosetta Stone and for some reason on the map they don't have it just listed as like here's the Rosetta Stone. I was talking to a bunch of other people trying to figure it out and we, you know, our best guess was go to Egypt. Like the Egyptian wing surely has it. But all the way upstairs, it's not there. So a little tip for you, when you come it's on the ground floor in gallery four. So I'm heading there now and hopefully it's worth the night. Clock room, I think, was probably my favorite, which I didn't expect to be saying, but it was really like fascinating. The Rosetta Stone, really cool to see. It's cool to say that I've seen it. It's the key to like figuring out like how to read Egyptian, which is insane. Um, it's 100% worth going to see just like the stone. I didn't get through everything because it just kind of got to the point where it just it wasn't enjoyable with the amount of kids running around screaming. Oh. If you're in London, go in. 
first floor, uh, gallery four, go see the Rosetta Stone. After that, honestly, like, unless you, there's something you're really set on seeing or unless it's a slower day at the museum, I'd kind of either speed through it or just like move on to the next thing. I'm gonna go get ready for dinner now, but now you know. I just got to have dinner at Dishoom, which is this really famous Indian place. It's now a chain in London. Basically like a pain to get a reservation for, but you can also go stand in line and eventually you'll get in. So I made the decision to basically go wait in line around like nine o'clock at night. They close at like 11, it's a Monday. So I figured I'd probably have pretty good luck. I was able to get in with about like a 30 minute wait. It wasn't too bad. I got to go sit at the bar and just have a nice drink. It was super chill. Miss Lee thought this place was gonna be so overhyped. I wasn't expecting to love it this much. Go to Tishoom, it's worth the wait. It was astounding. The service, the food, the atmosphere, everything, totally on point. Mm -hmm. 